After being ejected from the Most party for meeting with SDP leader Zoran Milanovic without informing Most's leadership, Drago Pergomet told Croatian television last night that Most leader Bojo Petrov was aware of his contact with Milanovic. For his part, Petrov has said that Pergomet's expulsion from the party would not weaken its negotiating position, and that Most continues to advocate a government of national unity that would include Most and both the HDZ and SDP. After Croatian Foreign Minister Vesna Pusic sent Slovenia a diplomatic note calling on it to remove segments of a razor wire fence along the two countries' border that incur into Croatian territory, Slovene Foreign Minister Karl Iriavic has responded by saying that the border between the two countries was still being determined by an arbitration tribunal. Croatia recently withdrew from arbitration proceedings after it was discovered that Slovenia had been making backroom deals with judges in order to secure a verdict in its favor. Slovenia is putting up the fence to block the flow of migrants into the country. At a meeting of EU and African leaders yesterday, the President of the European Council, Donald Tusk, warned that Europe was in a race against time to save the Schengen border regime. I have no doubt, without effective control on our external borders, the Schengen rules will not survive. The EU has promised to secure $2 billion in aid for countries from which migrants are arriving, primarily Senegal, Nigeria, Eritrea and Libya, by the end of next year. However, the President of the European Parliament, Martin Schulz, isn't convinced the two-day summit will bear fruit. The debate was uh, strongly influenced by two uh, different uh, phenomena. On one hand, the European member states are divided about the migration policy within the European Union. And the African countries had no common line about the cooperation with Europe. Meanwhile, more than 377,000 migrants have passed over Croatian territory since the start of the crisis in mid-September. Another massive influx from Serbia is expected in the coming days. Austria and Germany have suspended a European arrest warrant for the CEO of Hungarian oil group MOL, Jolt Hernadi. The warrant was issued by Croatia, where he is wanted on suspicion of bribery. According to unofficial reports, the warrant was suspended on the principle that a person cannot stand trial twice for the same crime. Hungary, after refusing to extradite Hernadi to Croatia to stand trial, prosecuted him at home on the same charges and cleared him of any wrongdoing. In KHL Hockey League action, Zagreb's Medvedchak lost to Russian side Torpedo in Nizhny Novgorod 5-2 last night. Tomorrow, the Bears, who are currently 7th in the Western Conference, host Sevastal Cherepovets. Predominantly sunny in the interior, partly sunny on the coast, with some fog on the northern Adriatic. Winds will be mild throughout the country. Highs for the day will be between 14 to 19 degrees Celsius, up to 21 on the coast. The three-day forecast for the interior calls for variable weather with some morning fog. Expect some rain on Saturday, while Monday will see more sun and slightly warmer temperatures. Winds will shift from a northwesterly to a southwesterly. Morning fog is also expected on the coast. Mild to moderate northeasterly and northwesterly winds will bring with it variable but predominantly dry weather on Sunday and predominantly sunny skies on Monday.